Hi children, welcome back to part two of my video on classifying and now we're going to be looking at this style word, orientation. So I really enjoyed looking at your pictures that you had made using lots of different shapes. So this word orientation means how we position them on the page. So I've cut some shapes out here and I thought I could have a play around at their orientation at positioning them to see if I can make a picture. So I'm going to start with this rectangle and I think I'm going to position it there. Hmm, what might it look like? Maybe I might put my square just above it. In fact, I think I'm gonna move it to there. Hmm. That's given me an idea. I'm going to make it, and I want you to shout out what you think this object might be once I've created it. Have you got any ideas? Can you shout out to me? I think some of you might have got it already. What do you think it might be? That's right, it's a rocket. So I used a rectangle, a square, and different sized triangles to create a rocket. And can you see how I've orientated them? They're not all in the same way. They're not all positioned in the same way. I've orientated them all differently. So what we're going to look at now in our work is about orientating one shape to look like something else. Now, can you remember the dog that I drew? It had a long rectangle for the body. It had four rectangles. Obviously, you would use a ruler if you're drawing. It had a circle for the head, and then it had this triangle. Now this triangle is orientated upwards. Have a look at my triangle in this picture here. Can you shout out what you think this picture might be of? picture of a snowman, well done. But can you see how I've used my triangle? It's not upright anymore. I've orientated it to face a different direction. And that's what we're gonna be looking at in a bit more detail. But first of all, we need to focus on our star words, star words, star words. We're gonna be looking at the words of top, middle, bottom, left and right. So I'm going to put a circle in the middle of my board. If I put my triangle there, I put it on top of my circle. If I put it down here, I put it at the bottom of my circle. If I put it over here, I put it on the right of my circle. And if I put it here, I put it on the left of my circle. And if I put it in here, I put it in the middle of my circle. So let's have a quick game. If I put my triangle here, can you shout out for me where it is? Good, it's on the right side of my circle. What about if I put it here? Can you shout out to me? That's right, it's at the bottom. And last one, where is it now? Good, it's on the left of my circle. 